Hello YouTube, welcome to How It Works. This is the oilless air compressor pump. This screw loosens to the right, opposite of what you normally think. It's just the way it rotates. Pull this fan up, it is pretty crusty. It's pretty brittle. See where it's chipped there. It's, I'm afraid if you flex it, it'd probably just disintegrate. Uh, 99 when this was made. We don't know how to, we gotta loosen this bolt here. We'll be loosening that, but first we're going to take you up to the top of this thing. So we'll pause and we'll take you up to the top of this and show you when we pull the head off what it looks like. Okay, we got the bolts loose. We're going to take the head off, part of it. We'll get inside of here eventually. So there are two portholes in case I forget to mention that. Here's your piston. It's just got a rubber seal on it. If you can see, this one's destroyed. And I'm not going to buy a rebuild kit for this. Okay, we're going to pause again. We're going to get this bolt loose. We're going to pull this connecting rod off. Because we're scrapping this to see if the electric motor can be used for something. Okay, this also takes a hex key Allen wrench bolt to loosen the rod. And I just wobbled it off this bearing right here. A, another close up, don't need to really take a picture of that. That's obviously what was wrong with it, just that seal. And just think I junked the whole thing, but said it's not worth me putting any money into it. I have an air compressor, okay? So back to the head. We'll pause because we need to make a little more room on the bench, okay? We're back. Sorry about all the pausing there to get everything manipulated. Okay, we're going to take the head off, okay? Here's where your air would pump out. See all this chamber in here? Uh, this is like a gasket. If you peeled all this junk off of here, I'm sure if you got a rebuild kit, you get that. Notice here you got two flappers. These flappers made to go up. So when the piston pushes up, it's going to open these two flappers and push air into here, which pushes it in the hose to the tank, not to get too technical. Okay, here's how it works on the bottom. You look on the bottom where the piston comes up, this opens right here. We can get our fingers in it again. This opens. This opens when it sucks. That'd be your intake stroke. It'd suck air. It would suck this flapper open. Then when the piston come up, it would push it shut. The air can only go through here. Like I said, it would push through these two holes up into this chamber, out here to the tank. So it's pretty easy. So I thought I'd make a little short video on it. it when you get a rebuilt kit, you're going to get these gaskets, plates. There's plenty of that orange RTV silicone. There's your cylinder wall. You're going to get a cylinder wall. Some of these had a, when I looked up, they had a cylinder wall with a rubber where it's replaceable. This, you have to buy this whole piece. I am sure. I went to Amazon and looked at this. You have to buy the whole jug cylinder wall. So, I'm assuming if you just replace the rubber, it's not going to do you much good. We can wipe it out and see if you can see it. See, it's not really going to do you much good. See all that wear in there? See all the scores? Even though it was rubber, because you get dirt and grease. I know these are oilless, they're still dirt. Some kind of grease comes there in manufacturing or whatever. So it's not going to do any good to replace the rubber part. See, I knew that right away. I had these apart before. So there you go. I'll include a couple of photographs. Can give you the basics of how one of these works and what's it take to rip everything off it. Pretty simple. Four bolts, take your rod loose, like I said, take your family off, take your rod loose with that split in it. You can always put a screwdriver or something there or wobble out the bearing. Show that again. There was your failure. There's your problem. Thanks again for watching.
Well, there's your problem. Maybe we can bore it out. Jeez, look at that gap. 